Hey guys, great Sarah here, back with some more Tales of Berseria, and if you happen to miss the last episode, well, we ate a Kraken, which was very delicious, and we also figured out that Magulu likes layer cake, or has layer cake on her belt or something like that, but yeah, it, it, it got weird. But, for today's episode, we're going to continue on the pathway to wherever the heck we're going, I still don't know, and hopefully we'll, we'll figure that out. But before we do that, be certain to hit that like button as hard as you possibly can, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this expedition. Because take a look at this. I feel like we lost. No, nope. we won two. Let's do this. We won two, and we got some carrots and some rock salt. Perfect. Ship set. Perfect. Set set sail. Set sail. Okay, we're good. All right, let's continue onwards. So hopefully. We can get to the next area we need to get to, because there's been quite a few, quite a few things. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Am I supposed to go this way? Which way am I supposed to go? I'm lost. This is uh, this is highly unfortunate. I'm lost. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Okay, I see how it is now. I got lost. I got all turned around. I got confused. I got very confused, and also there's some snake lady after me. I do not want to fight her. She can just go away. She can legitimately just leave. I don't want to fight her. I'm on the mood fighter. I want to see what's in this chest. 2,200 gold. Is there any other way around? Yes, there is. Snake lady can vanish? Question mark? She legitimately just vanished. Like, she was there, and then she was gone. What the heck? We got some sea snakes. Just didn't even notice me. Oh, bird. Bird. No. Bird. No. Go away, bird. Go away. Thank you, bird. No one wants to fight you now, bird. Weird looking bird. Alright. So onwards we go. Dodge the snake. Oh my god, that thing's fast. That thing is very fast. Oh, oh God, it's right on me. Oh, God. How is it still following me? I was about to say, how is it still following me? Cat's box. Give me something. You bastard. I hate that. I hate when you get a cat's box and it doesn't give you anything. It's like, what good is it then? Oh, God. Ooh, it's a biggie. Really? Really? You just ruined my, my entire time. I was perfectly fine, just chilling, and then you had to do this. You had to attack me. I hope you're satisfied with yourself, because you're gonna die. You're gonna die. There's no doubt about it, you're gonna die. What the heck? What's that red bean? I got scared, what was that red bean? Ooh, perfect. Why am I get attacked by two of them? Mm, nice try. Nice try. I'm killing this one. Everyone else can deal with the other ones. Ah, perfect. Knock it unconscious. Really? It poisoned me? Rude. Eleanor, you're not doing you're not doing this thing you're supposed to be doing. The thing you're supposed to be doing is making certain to get rid of them. Yeah, yeah, die. From behind. Ooh. I just knock it unconscious and get a soul. And then I can eat it. Rude. Rude, rude. More die. More, more death. More death. Well, I do believe that, do believe that snake lady is dead. Ah, perfect! There we go. And slice and dice. Would you put dot blocking? Wait, that's it. You're gonna eat. You're getting eaten. There's no doubt about it. You're getting eaten. And then you're eaten as well. There we go. Not 
sad. You too. The smallest dialogue possible. Just not bad. You too. <laughs> oh. Yes! Finally I see an exit! Wait. Can I see the can I see the training grounds from here? I feel like it'd be over there, but I can't see the training grounds. Which is kind of unfortunate because I really want to see the training grounds. Because I'm curious. I am curious to see if it's gonna be like the last one, which looked like Impel Down. I mean, it, it totally did. And I'm, I'm, I, I actually hope this one looks exactly the same way. Ooh, another chest. Ooh, this looks promising. If there's a chest over here, there's obviously something good in it. It's, it's, it's gotta be. A life bottle. I'll gladly take more life bottles. After what happened two or three episodes ago with the, the, the harpy lady, Having to use so many life bottles was bad. How about it, Lafayette? said. Picking up on anything? Yeah, in the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now. Okay. So in other words, he's he's starting to start, starting to sense things, which could be good and bad all at the same time. There is a chest over there I want. We're gonna have to dodge some snakes. Jeez, that snake is fast. Like, really fast. Hmm, a waistcoat. Da, 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 da. The music in this game is just so good. It's, it's so, it goes so well with the, the background. It's got like that whole, whole like, you're on a tropical island. You're just enjoying, enjoying the things. What the heck? What is that? Is that the temple? Ooh, ooh, it looks like something. What the heck? This place looks abandoned. It it, it doesn't just look like it's been used in years. It looks abandoned. Wait, there's something glowing over here. I need to get that. Red Sage. Cool. Oh, there's some knocked unconscious exorcists over here. What's this? Then we'll use this distraction. How are we going to use it as a distraction if we're going to go in through the door it's in? Wow, look outside. It's the ocean. This was a place of worship for Amenoch, the water Empyrean. The ancients built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believe that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, 
I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No, I only read the first edition. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. So, wait, was that a complete rebuttal of Aizen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Ah, uh, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change all the time. What's it matter anyway? Let's just get going. Poor Aizen. He's used to being the one that has all the information on these ancient structures. And then friggin' Eleanor just has to go and ruin it all. I agree with Velvet though. Let's just move on. <laughs> There's no Empyrean here, right Aizen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails. Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enominot certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominot must be a special case, then. Must be. I suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. Hmm. Oh look, we have a Moloch and two guards. You guys can just leave me alone, because I'm not bothering with you. Whoa, waterfalls. I can't go through them though. Aw, oh, why I can't go through them? They're covered... That's lame. Something is written on this monolith. The challenge bears a symbol and that commands the flowing water. Should the chalice be filled with water and its mark turn blue, the water shall be as a wall to thwart your path. Should the chalice be dried by flame, its mark turned white, the impending water shall lay still, opening the path before you. Hiccups for some reason. Okay, so it sounds like there's a chalice thing with the light on fire or we have to fill it with water. Interesting. Okay, there's the chalice, I'm assuming. Okay. There's an indent in the pedestal. It looks like you can insert something into it. Oh, what? I have to... Oh, I have to find it? Really? How do I find it? No. You, you, no. Get away from me. Does this door open? Oh, it does. Oh. Oh, I see now. Okay. Chalice waterfall. When a chalice is filled with water, the waterfall connected to it flows, blocking the way through. Using fire to boil away the water will halt waterfall and allow you to move onward. Okay. So in other words, we have- what the- Oh my god, the, the Moloch legitimately just got demon blight and turned into a demon. You've got to be kidding me. Just his exorcist friend just dies and he's like, oh, I'm a Moloch, I'm a demon now, bleh. <laughs> Running up the mountain. All right, so let's go see what's in here. I'm assuming there's something of value in here. Probably another chalice. How did I know? Check. A gem is embedded in the monolith. You remove it. Obtain teardrop-shaped gemstone. Cool. What's this do? What? 
What the heck? Where am I? Life bottle. Oh, it looks like I can go this way eventually if I can get that waterfall to shut off. That's a lot of cat souls. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay. So, if I go back down... I can insert the gemstone into that. There's another demon. So the gemstone's taking the wrong. You set the gemstone, and we light it on fire. And now the big scary one in the middle is gone. Interesting. All right, we're gonna go sneak past this this demon thing. It looks. I love how it just looks like a wall. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the other room and see what's in there, and then we'll go to the then we'll go through the big big scary door that just opened. So we'll go there, and we'll head up to the next one. Just some random knight. He's just chilling. Another random knight. Do 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 do. I wonder how big this temple is. It seems like it's pretty big. I feel like I'm gonna get lost a lot. As I uh, suspected, this is just gonna have a chest. But you know what? You can never pass a chest. Chests are always good to get. Alright. On to the big door that's down the hallway. I'm kind of frightened, because I still don't know what's gonna be in there. I kind of feel bad for these Molochs that keep turning into demons for no reason. Ooh, ocean. That's cool. What is that thing? Well, it wiped out the security for us, but... Wolfie's got the crest of Amenoch, the same pendant worn by priestesses. Then that makes this demon. Yeah, she must be the missing mother, Mahina. Well, that's just unfortunate. Don't just stand there. It's gonna eat you. I knew that. Why can I not hit this thing? Where's it going? Oh, it, it wants Aizen. Yeah, no, 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 Aizen. No. It wants Rokuro. There we go. Whatever. You know what? Eat it. Just eat it. Obviously, dehumanizing. Okay. It's res resistant? Why is it resistant to everything I hit it with? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. How dare you be resistant to every single thing I do? Oh, perfect! Unleash hell on it! Unleash hell! Ah, perfect. Awesome. Get some more health back. Okay, lock it. Ow! 
No. I have three HP. I have three HP. Stepping back. Grabbing an item. Oh, oh god. Ah, oh, yes! Yes, heal me more! Oh, Eleanor's dead. Rip. Rip, Eleanor. Actually, you know what? In a way, we'll just... We'll switch to Aizen! Aizen can do things. Bring out the heavy hitters. But for some reason, this tiny... This tiny werewolf thing is doing a crap ton of damage. It's doing more damage than the Kraken. And that's saying something. Because the Kraken... was... giant. Yeah! Unconscious game, quick. Unleash heck on it! Oh, I need a soul. There is a soul. No, 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 no. Aw, oh, it vanished. Unless I can get to it in time. Aw, oh, dang it. I wanted the soul. I needed that soul. Ooh. There we go. That did a nice amount of damage. Looks like Eleanor is gaining some health. Oh, I got full of souls again. Heck yeah! Yet I missed. Yum! You really want to test me, Wolf? You really want to test me? You're gonna die! Blue flame attack! Yum! To think a priestess, beloved by her village, would become a demon. Eleanor? She's never going to be the same again. This is the least I can do for her. So says Reason. Huh? That feeling. Let the demon be. We don't need it. We don't need it. It, 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 can, just, it can stay where it is. The weirdest thing is, I don't know where the heck it went. I mean, where did it go? There's like no exit unless it just jumped in the water. Maybe? Oh, go oh, good. Oh, good. Missing pieces. Great. All right. But that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. And also be certain to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And next time we will go find the missing gemstones that need to be put on that wall right there so we can get the heck into the next area. And yeah, with that being said, take care. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more videos. Later!